If you're a homeowner or a potential buyer looking in Antioch, California, I've got the latest real estate market update for December 2023. Let's dive into these key metrics to help you make informed decisions. Make sure you stay tuned to the end for all the details. Let's start with the total number of homes sold in December. Keeping it simple, in December 2023, Antioch saw 77 home closings at 68 houses and 9 condo slash townhomes. Now, looking back to December 2022, that month, Antioch had 121 total sales, 107 of those were houses, and 14 were condo slash townhomes. Crunching the numbers, that's a 36% decrease year to year. Yep, things are changing. This year is a bit quieter, less homes changing hands, showing us there's a shift in how people are buying and selling. So for single family homes in Antioch, the inventory levels are less than one month, about 25 days. Imagine if we stopped listing homes today, we'd run out in less than 30 days. That's a really quick turnaround, and it's 34% less than we had in November of 2023. This super low inventory means there aren't many homes up for grabs. It's like going to the store and there's only a handful of your favorite snacks left. The scarcity makes the market tight and can lead to more competition among buyers. So if you're thinking of selling, it's a good time because there aren't many homes for sale. But if you're looking to buy, be prepared for a competitive market. The median days on market for single family homes increased to 21 days, which is up from 15 days from the, from the previous month of November, 2023. This suggests a potential slowdown in the speed of sales, possibly due to the holiday season. The list to sold price ratio for single family homes in Antioch is at 100.9%, showing a slight decrease of 1.5% from the previous month. This suggests that sellers are able to secure prices close to their list prices, albeit with a slight adjustment. For condos and townhomes, the ratio is at 97.1% of list price, indicating some negotiation space for buyers. Overall, these stats depict the market with reduced total sales likely influenced by a combination of factors such as seasonal trends, economic conditions, or buyer and seller sentiment. The low months of inventory, for single family homes highlights a competitive environment, potentially leading to upward pressure on home prices. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for anyone navigating the real estate market, whether buying or selling. It's recommended to consider these trends in conjunction with the individual property characteristics and personal goals for a comprehensive perspective on the market. Remember, these are general trends and individual situations may vary. For a personalized analysis, feel free to reach out. Stay informed, and I'll be back next month with another update.